So almost ready to get underway at towing the slab in this one, Jack Flaherty. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so Leading impressed with when it, it seems like there's more there's pressure. He's high, high. more calm and more settles high. in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the oh, baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Next pitch inside, three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Next offering is in for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Three and two now. Fights it off, you'll see another. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The line of the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. The runner takes off. Swing and a miss. One ball. Go to second, and he's out. I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put one on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then pull out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. On the ground to the left. Slings to first, and they get Turner for the out. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Here the sixth spot for them in this one, JT Real Muto. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count, one and two. That one to first, and it goes just foul. Two outs. Ground ball up the middle. Now a jump throw. He is safe, and that was bang, bang at first. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. And at first, Alec Bohm now at the plate. And that one missing low. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. That one fouled off two and two. The pitch in the air, right field should have this one. He's got it, and that is out number three. Philly strand one, and now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, and on the mound in this one, Zach Wheeler. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. 
goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone here. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. One out base is empty. And that's downstairs and outside. Just off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. One down, base is empty. Hard ground ball, base down. Well, they call that an advantage that count for a reason. You're so much reason. more likely to get yeah, something yeah, yeah. you can handle. Really good swing wow. right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good run around the move. That's in for a strike. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Wow, what an incredible throw right there. And he might not have had time to get to his feet and catch that runner. That's an incredible display of arm strength. Two out spaces empty. On the ground right side. Stop. Throws to first. And that is that. Scoreless after one. And we're back. Leading All set for the start of the inning. The and now for the Phillies, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh. And another ball. Next offering in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some day, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Banks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high grass ball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Swings and misses, struck him out. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up that. on the inside the part of the plate. Could get around on it and yeah, catch yeah. it out front. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's 2-1. and one. Two outs. 
And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Around third. The relay. He's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lifted it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And in scoring position with two away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Austin Hayes. Man at second. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, and that's that outside. Two and two. with the run scoring double it's now one nothing major league baseball is on the show back here at chavez ravine and now the catcher comes up to him will smith And he deals. And that's inside, off the inside edge. And it's two and one. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Out to short. Leadoff oh. man retired here in the second. That is good. The right field. Here's Jason Hayward. Outside low. And yeah, that's ball two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The Phils up by a run, bottom half of inning number two. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty delivers. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. So digging in, Austin Barnes. Here comes a pitch. And it is two and one. In the air, out towards right center. Castellanos sizing this one up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is that. Offense held a check there. We play two full. It's the Phillies one, and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Kyle. Kyle. Though well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Hey. One call to strike. One and two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Hey. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially when two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Turner now. And the righty deals. Just off the outside edge. Ball two.
One down, base is empty. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Bryce Harper to the plate. Pitch misses there, and that's ball three. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one's carrying. Banks off the wall. And that's a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now it's Alec Bohm. The pitch. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Man on second, two down. Line to left. And that's just foul. Bounced up the middle. Ahmed gathers and throws to first. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia. They lead it 1 0. Bottom of the inning, and here's the rookie center fielder, Andy Pappas. The pitch. Fall off foul. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Outside low. The count now two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wide to kick the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Nick Ahmed here to hit. On a line, base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Here's Shohei Otani. And a 1-1. One -one. That one fouled off. Two outs. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over.
So one hit is all they get. On to inning number four. It's the Phillies one and the Dodgers nothing. Here in L.A., John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Brandon Marsh. Left field. Fernandez falls it in and there's one away. Now back. The catch. And now it is JT Real Muto. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. This one in the air. Biggio in position. Brings it in. And there's two down. The right fielder, number eight. Nick Castellanos. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece and stays alive. That okay. one just missing inside. And the count's full. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy. Umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Two outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Phillies strand one, but they're on top. One nothing. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. No less you. And that one lifted in the air center field. Marsh moves under it. Makes the grab one down. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. And now it's Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. here as he fouls it away. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. No, no, no. Clearly he had him The batter now will be Will Smith. Home team down a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. The wind of the pitch. 
Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Real Muto up with it. Fires the first. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Nothing across here this half. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Phillies one and the Dodgers nothing. And we're back. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Here's a 1 1. Right through there for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And the right hander deals. On the ground to third, Otani. Rolls across the diamond. One up, one down. Now back. Designated. So now the DH Kyle. spot. Kyle Schwarber. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Trey Turner at the plate. In the air, right field, and it's just foul. The 2 2 stays alive. At the belt and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And a pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three two now. It's softly on the ground to third. There's one. Out. What a double play that was. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies one and the Dodgers nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, back foot slider struck him out. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Austin Barr. Designated hitter. Austin. Ball. And a pitch. Hey. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to hey. swing that early in the count. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher now on the same page the right now. And now the center fielder, Andy Pajes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And here it comes. Ball, and man, another man. ball. The Dodgers down by a run. Last half of inning number five. Wouldn't Three, chase that time. Three 
two. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hayes settles under it and makes the catch. And that's the third out. So they turn things over to the righty, Gavin Stone. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Well, one run game, and now here is Harper. Right. Harper. Here's Harper, the count two and one on the ground. And it gets by him. Clearly seeing the ball very oh, well in this one. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now, Alec Bohm. Kicks and deals. A little left front there as he swings through. That's inside, and it's two and two. Action in the pen down there. Alex Vesia appears to be getting loose. Honeywell, the right-hander, also getting loose. There he goes down looking. Well, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one gets past the catcher. And now a man into scoring position. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. Right-hander kicks deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Finally missed, struck him out. Now two away. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Right with the swing there. Well, just do that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Hard ground ball base now. Around third, the throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they lead by two. Just so sound in his mechanics. It hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Runner at first with two away. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Two outs. That one laced to center and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The batter out of Bob. Second base. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. This is Bryson hey. Stock. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Perfect. 
traffic on the bases with one already in. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Hey. Goes down looking. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And it's two zip. Bottom of the sixth Three, inning, uh, and here's the first one. baseman, Kevin Biggio. Biggio. A 1-1. One, one. And Two, another one. ball. You know, these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but one so far he's been really effective in this one. And he deals. There's a strike at the knees. You know, sometimes okay. it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. Swing and a ball popped up. Turner should have it. Calls it in for the out. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. That's Unbelievable that's that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Nick Ahmed steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The line of the pitch. That one missing inside. Next offering is down low. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking and make sure that they don't get any confidence. The pitch. Long drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Great hands on that swing. Took the barrel right to the baseball. Caught it out front and nipped it into the gap. At that point, he probably no question in his mind that he was going for two. That's just a great feeling. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Shohei Otani up to the dish. One finds the zone. That's strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One left for L.A., and they're down 2-0. Back here at Chavez Ravine, top of inning number seven, and digging in for Philadelphia, Austin Hayes. And the righty deals. Line drive, base hit right field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Now that pretty much split the zone the down the middle, and those are the uh -huh. ones where you gotta make a pay. So the Philly batting order turns over. Here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber.
spoils that one and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. And just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Trey Turner now. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Ground ball left side and that squirts through lead runner touches second headed for third the throw in in there safely the first base here, the first three. turned on it nicely definitely a little out in front of the pitch but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line here's Harper now calling for the intentional walk and that loads up the bases and the force play is now the in order. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Ripped on a line. Drops into the glove. Runner takes from third. And now the runner will score from third in the wild throw. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball, just couldn't get it to drop in. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Brent Honeywell Jr. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with a lefty at the plate. So first and second with two outs. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Marsh. Turner on second. Harper on at first with two down. And now one and two. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Inside almost got him. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it. And, and down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Phillies three and the Dodgers nothing. Here at Dodger Stadium. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. And a pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And nope. there's a ball. It's a good take. Activity in the bullpen. Matt Strom, the left hander, up and throwing. Allard getting cranked up as well. Two-two now. Bounce that off to the left and we'll do it again. Kicks and fires. That misses, and now it's three and two. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. And down on strikes he goes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Why to kick the pitch? Way out front for strike two. Oh, that's that slope right Run there. Ball. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel oh. to. 
And that one almost hit him. Harper drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. Now back, right fielder, Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The Phillies leading by three here at the bottom of the seven. And another ball. Two ball, one strike. On the ground, right side. Stott over to first in time. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Still down, three nothing. We go to the eighth. Here's the Phillies catcher, JT Real Muto. Next offering upstairs. Well, these Two Phillies, simply strike. put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Eight of their hits came off the bat at 90 miles per hour or harder. These batters are not getting fooled right now. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Nick Castellanos, the next to hit. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level. Swing and a miss. One ball, two frames. On the ground to third, Otani. On to first, oh. and that'll do it. Phillies down in order, but they lead it 3 nothing. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Matt Strom. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. And now here's the Leading Dodgers off. designated hitter, Austin Barnes. The, hitter. the Dodgers in striking distance, Barnes. but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's the center fielder, Andy Pappas. And strike two. Well, it's critical right One here ball. that they bear two down strike. and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Barnes gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next That's pitch is outside. And now the lefty backs and misses. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Mm -hmm. 
Left hand batter waits. At the ball. That's a little bit low. The Dodgers trailing by three near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Lined, and that's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Now battle. One down. Nick Ahmed getting ready to hit. The tying run at the plate. Swings and misses. One ball. Slider right there. Tying run at the plate. The ball shortstop two. takes the ball. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And that just misses. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Shohei Otani to bat next. One out. Runners at first and second. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Bull. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Colby Aller. This is his third time out this year. Number 39, Colby Aller. Stepping in, Shohei Otani. As we move towards the home stretch, it seems like he's at a bit of a crossroads. He's been lighting it up at the plate, but the work on the mound has not been as successful. That's got to be frustrating. Harper beats the second out there. Throw the first, but he beat it. I promise you, there are guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. for L.A. Teoscar Hernandez lefty out of the stretch runners at first and third just off the inside edge that said he still adds a ton of value to his team with his versatility 100 percent true he's an outstanding contributor he's shown the talent before and it's not like he's really hurting him right now and a pitch swing and a miss and now two and two ground ball for base stop. The run scores from third. It's 3-2. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. So two down. Now here is Gavin Lux. The pitch. And fouled off. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. The pitch. Misses outside, and that's ball two. Stirring in the Phillies' bullpen, Jeff Hoffman appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Alvarado, a lefty, warming up as well. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. And here's a 3-2. Got him! And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Dodgers two. And welcome back we to the ballpark. Really. We go to the, the ninth, Austin and now it's Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes. A wind and a pitch. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. That one play. missed.
towards first. Biggio He's steps out. on the bag, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled oh, over on it, and beat it into the ground. So the lineup flips Kyle. over, and now Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. One down, base is empty. Just oh, missed. Now it's three and two. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Down the line. Hayward drifts towards it. Hauls it in to away. Now bad at shortstop. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Trey Turner. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. And that one is lifted in the air. Hayward makes the grab, and that's the inning. Three up, three down that time. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Dodgers two. Jeff Hoffman gets the ball now. And we all know about his slider. It's just now healthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Well, one run game. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hit. Will Smith. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Fouls it back with two strikes. Three. Got him looking. A huge out to start the bottom of the nine. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your boy. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. The one-one and a pop-up right side foul territory. Sizes this one up, squeezes it. That's out number two. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. Number fifteen, designated hitter. So last chance for the Dodgers. Ball. And up next for Los Angeles, Austin Barnes. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. One ball. Uh, boy, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Ripped on a line to center, and there's a hit. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. So now a pinch hitter, Ahmed Rosario. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. Right-handed reliever, and he chases that one below the zone. The one tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. That one not close. Two and two. Hoffman is just one strike away. That misses the zone. Full count three and two. Kevin Biggio waiting to bat for the Dodgers. 